reading viewers adventure link here back again with another maintenance type video for everyone to enjoy and to uh, get some information from so you can make maintain things it's your birthday or was your birthday or you're gonna have your birthday soon congratulations happy birthday make it a good one um we're getting past the passover season so if you celebrate passover and do the whole passover thing i hope yours was a good one anyways on to today's subject Maintaining your air conditioner, and in this regard, cleaning the condensers, and possibly your evaporator too. Now you're probably going to ask me, what's the point of having to clean the condenser every once in a while? Well, as you can see on this uh, can of condenser cleaner, it easily removes dirt, grease, and oil. Additionally, you'll have like grime, dust pollen etc that can, that gathers on your condenser coils over the years now you know for the first couple seasons if you don't take care of it you know your ac will still run fine but if you keep neglecting it over the years then it'll get sluggish more inefficient to the point where it'll shut down more often and it won't even blow out cold air many people at this point would just kick out the air conditioner and buy a new one but if you just take that five the four to seven bucks and buy a can of this condenser cleaner then you could probably solve most of your problems like that and not have to worry about buying a whole air conditioner over a dirty condenser. Now there are several different types of condenser cleaners. As you can see this is this AC Safe. I believe you can find this at Home Depot I think. Additionally there's another brand called WEB or Web or however you say that. That can usually be found at Lowe's. Um, furthermore, there's also a can called uh, Frost King. I've usually found that at Walmart. You can, just as a heads up, you can find these on Amazon as well. But just a fair warning, those are usually considered add-on items for Amazon. So you can't just add like three cans of condenser cleaner and be done with it. You have to order other things to, in order to fulfill the, the add-on item prerequisite so you can get your condenser cleaner within the same order. Don't ask why, it's just the way Amazon does things. Of course, there are other kinds of condenser cleaners out there. Kinds that can't come in like a Windex bottle or cut stuff that uh, Eric the car guy has. I'll put a picture of it off to the right of this air conditioner or something just to show you what I'm talking about. Those are usually more expensive and usually requires you to have a garden hose as well. These aerosol cans, you usually don't have to do that. All you do is just spray it on, run it, you're good to go. Now, of course, in order for the, con the, the, the compressor to engage in the AC to work, it has to be a warm day. So ideally, you want to try to do this on a warm or hot day. Um, personally, I let this run, you know, for at least a few minutes to help get everything flowing. Then you'll shake up your, your can nice and good. Then you want to spray liberally, but evenly. You want to get the entire condenser. As you can see, it'll foam up. Now, of course, I'm probably not going to use as much, you know, do as I say, not as I do, mainly because I just cleaned this not too long ago. This is just for demonstration purposes, and I've, and I've already treated it once, so I'm treating it again just as, just as a demonstration. Now, you're going to let this sit here for a few minutes to let the foam and all that work through. Uh, while we wait for the foam to go through, I'll give a quick review on this AC safe and the web or WEB or whatever. It's short, sweet, to the point. Both of those brands work and they're awesome. In fact, this particular AC here, this one time it kept experiencing all the bad signs of the of the clogged up condenser. A, a nice big old can of WEB web condenser cleaner, two treatments of it, and the AC was revived and brought right back to life. And while we're waiting for the foam to go through, I'm going to go over the directions real quick. Of course, even if you're using these cheap aerosol cans or the more expensive stuff, you can use the garden hose to clean it. Uh, just a fair warning when you do use the garden hose that you'll have to put it on like low pressure. You don't want Hercules strength and you don't want super strong because these condensers are not made like really strong. They're like made of aluminum or some other soft metal. So you don't want it to um, bend all the... Additionally, you don't want to focus too much on one side. Like some people would just focus on the upper center and hope it gets the rest. All you're doing is just destroying the fins in that upper center. However, it says with the self-rinsing formula, the foam will break and condensation accumulation will completely rinse the emulsified material. However, you may wipe clean or rinse with water if desired or if used on non-condensation producing coils, which I guess would be the evaporator in this case. So if you're cleaning the evaporator, you would have to rinse it with water, which means you'd have to be really skilled to not make a mess on the floor. 
or you just have to take the window unit out and clean it outside. After you let the foam sit for a few minutes, you'll go back in the house, turn your air conditioner on, and you'll get this nice little bubbly action. Sweet. The adult sized version of those little bubble producing things you used to have as a kid. Now you get the same joys out of cleaning your condensers. Nice. And then from here, you know, you can just let the let the AC run as normal, or you can just let it run until the foam runs out, whatever comes first or whatever is more desired. Like if it's a hot day, you know, obviously you want to bring the AC back into service as soon as possible. Uh, just so you know, if this is, you know, like the first time you treated it, like first time in more than a year, or the first time ever that you've done this, which this happened to be that case a couple years ago, but if that does happen, you will want to give us, you, I would definitely give consideration for a second treatment of condenser cleaner, so that way you can make sure it's going to be fully clean and you'll have a nice clean condenser. Other than that, just uh, run the condenser cleaner start once at the start of season, once at the end of season, and once a month during the season. Of course, if you're keeping it up at that point, you should just need one treatment per month. You don't have to have two every time. That's only if you let it go every year or if it's the first time you've ever cleaned your condenser. Okay, so now it's time to maintain your air filter. Uh, normally, you want to take care of this every 10 to 15 days. It's really simple. This varies by model, but you have to find a way in to pull out your air filter. Then you'll pull it out. Yeah, I know my evaporator is looking a little uh, grimy there. may have to clean this evaporator as well. I have to figure out a way how I'm going to do that without taking this air conditioner out. Like I said, you'll take the air filter, take it out, run it under some water, any kind of big deposits like hairs and hairballs. You can just wipe those off by hand before you take it into the sink. Of course, if it looks black or grimy or anything else like that, I would just take some Dawn dish detergent, put it on your, put it on each part of the air filter, put some warm water under it and rinse it out until it becomes nice and clean. And now it's time to clean a small sample of this evaporator just for demonstration purposes. Um, you may want to start off by unplugging the AC just in case you hit any of these control panels or you don't want to hit anything electrical with this condenser cleaner or coil cleaner and your water source. Start off, I guess, by spraying a small bit of cleaner. Uh, let it work through for a moment. And of course, you'll have your, your rag ready. Um, you can have a rag or a sponge. I'd probably prefer to have a sponge, but this was um, some that I could find, you know, on such short notice for a demonstration. Then you wet it, wet it with warm, or warm water, have a bucket of water on hand. Then you can clean it. Also, if you have these little uh, bedding brushes, you could also get in there and clean it as well. See that? I'm getting a lot of crap out of this thing. Sweet. Unfortunately, with these evaporators, these probably might take a little bit more work than the condenser. And that's the nice thing about the condenser. That'll clean up. That'll clean up as you run the air conditioner. This you have to manually clean. And of course, you'll take your rag and wipe it. Wipe it down as you go. Hmm. As you can see, where I've already treated, this is already starting to look better. Huh. So as you can see, we got a condenser down here too, in front of this Dodge minivan. Don't forget to not neglect this. It gets cleaned all the same. Can be cleaned with the with the um, coil cleaner, same way as it did with your condensers. For better access, you could remove the grill or bumper in this case with these Dodge minivans. Other than that, some cars have the grill come up with the hood. Other cars, like my Grand Marquis formerly, would um, have a separate panel for the grill. You can just pop out, and you get nice, easy access from there. So that's all there is to basic maintenance of your AC system. Let's go wrap this video up. So in conclusion, basic AC maintenance. 
Well, it's necessary to keep this going every once in a while so that way you can have an efficient, cool system. In my opinion, these tips need to be spread out a lot farther than what they are because like I said at the start, it seems like the, mo the most often with these air conditioners, you have perfectly good air conditioners that all they need is just coils to be cleaned out and they'd be working like new or close to it. But most people would just throw it out. If only you would take the time to stock up on coil cleaner and clean your coils out, you could probably keep your air conditioner going for quite a while. Like I said, I had an air conditioner unit get revived with a can of coil cleaner. It worked for me, it'll work for you. With that being said, I wanna talk about some of the efficiency gains you'll get with cleaning your condensers and such. There's two things with efficiency. The shorter version and uh, what would be more attractive to people is the money. You know, over time when the condenser gets gunked up and dirtied up, that actually affects the performance of the con air conditioner. Like it'll take longer to cool the room down. Your uh, compressor will cycle a lot more often. It'll work harder than what it should. It'll shut down a lot more because of high pressures. Well, overly high pressures anyway. And as such, it uh, keeps eating up your electric bill. What was once, you know, 40 cents a kilowatt hour could be 48, 50 cents a kilowatt hour due to a dirty condenser and a dirty air filter and evaporator core too, for that matter. And for the more technical, nerdy stuff, there are pressures when it comes to AC systems. Um, it's, it is a complicated process, but I will try to make it not as complicated and not as nerdy as possible. Now on an AC system, you have a high side and a low side. The high side is where most of your beatings take place, obviously, is because your, your condenser sits outside. And as the name implies, a high side has your higher pressures than the lower side. On a day like today, when I filmed this video, it was about three, four o'clock, about mid 60s, 72% humidity. So, you know, on a day like today, a high side pressure about 125, 250 would probably be acceptable. If on on the other hand, it was uh, like we're in the dog days of summer or spring wannabe dog days of summer, you know, where you get haze and heat, haze and heat everywhere and dew points like 65, 70 or even higher, you know, 250 to 350 PSI is not necessarily out of the question. Of course, it also depends upon a couple other things too, like who made your AC unit, the type of refrigerant being used, how much refrigerant's in the system and all that. So of course, you know, it's bad enough that by design of an air conditioner anyway, your high side pressures during a very hot, hazy, humid day can get upward to 350 PSI. Bad enough it's like that anyway, but you don't need to make it worse with the gunked up condenser, which that'll help maintain that high pressure at the very least, if not soar it up higher than that. Of course, with these higher pressures, that means your system has to take it a lot more, whereas it'd be easier to have a high side of 250 on a hot day than 350, which means it puts a strain on everything, your condenser, cores, lines, other major components, seals, O-rings, trader valves. That means everything has to take that pressure and wears it down a lot faster and would eventually lead to a failure and your eventual replacement of the AC unit. And of course, cleaning the evaporator out every once in a while, you know, has health reasons too, like setting off lung conditions, breathing conditions. And of course, you can always apply these tips and tricks to any AC system. Doesn't matter if it's, you know, window unit, central air unit, your vehicle, all the same. It all works all the same. It, there is a compressor, a high side, a low side, a condenser, an evaporator, and a receiver dryer, and an orifice tube, or accumulator. Depends upon who made your system. All that works in harmony to give you cold air inside the house or inside your vehicle. So it all works the same. With that being said, I'm Adventure Link. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you got something from this video and hopefully you learned a little bit about AC in a basic sense and why you should clean your coils out. Hopefully these tips will help you save your coils, save your air conditioners, and you'll have to keep and you can keep your systems going a long time. Please don't forget to rate and subscribe. It's in the video description. Your rates, you know, tell, tell, helps tell YouTube how good of a job I'm doing. So like if I get a lot of likes, you know, it'll tell YouTube I'm doing a good job and it's a good video. Please leave your comments in the comment section. Any feedback, questions, concerns, praise, criticisms. I do try to get to everyone's comments whenever I can, usually right away, but I do my best to respond to everyone. It's getting to be wet outside, it's getting to be warm outside so this would be a good time to start cleaning those coils and keeping them clean periodically throughout the summer please make sure you do that as well as stay in the shade eat right stay active stay healthy stay hydrated wear light colored clothing although i'm trying to look trying to look awesome on my youtube channel being 
you know, hypocrite do as I say, not as I do. And make sure you stay cool. Don't let others push you around. And I'm going to close with the wise words of wisdom from Eric the Car Guy. Be safe, have fun, and of course, stay dirty. But keep your air filters and coils clean, please. And don't forget to slow down for the inclement weather as well. See you next time. Have a nice day.